Hi there, my name is King Ahab. I ascended the throne of Israel after inheriting the kingdom strengthened by my father King Omri. But unlike him, I choose a different path, and this is my story. King Ahab ascended the throne of Israel, inheriting a kingdom strengthened by his father Omri. But unlike his father's tolerance for other gods, Ahab craved power and alliances. He sealed a deal with Jezebel, the daughter of the Phoenician king, marrying her for political gain. Jezebel, a ruthless woman, brought with her the worship of the Canaanite god Baal. Ahab, easily swayed, allowed Jezebel to erect temples and promote Baal throughout Israel, turning his back on Yahweh, the god of his ancestors. This betrayal sparked a national crisis. A drought descended, crops withered, and the people starved. In this desperate time, the prophet Elijah emerged, a fiery figure condemning Ahab's wickedness. Ahab, challenged by Elijah, agreed to a contest on Mount Carmel. The prophets of Baal danced and chanted, sacrificing bulls, but their offerings remained untouched. Elijah, in contrast, built a simple altar, drenching it with water. He prayed to Yahweh, and a bolt of lightning ignited the offering, consuming it entirely. The people witnessed the power of their God and turned on Baal's prophets. Despite this divine display, Ahab remained under Jezebel's influence. Their greed reached a peak when Ahab desired a vineyard owned by Naboth. When Naboth refused to sell his ancestral land, Jezebel orchestrated a false accusation, leading to Naboth's death. Ahab seized the vineyard, but God's judgment came swift. Elijah confronted Ahab, prophesying that dogs would devour Jezebel and Ahab's dynasty would be destroyed. Ahab repented, but the damage was done. Ahab, ever the ambitious king, joined forces with Judah's king in a reckless war against Syria. Ignoring warnings from a prophet, Ahab disguised himself, but an enemy archer found his mark. Ahab died on his chariot, his blood staining the ground like the rain that had finally returned, a grim reminder of the drought and God's unfulfilled promise. Ahab's reign serves as a cautionary tale. His lust for power, his weakness for Jezebel, and his disobedience to God led to his downfall. The story reminds us of the importance of faith, the consequences of sin, and the unwavering power of the divine. The Fall of Ahab, a cautionary tale for leaders and us. All King Ahab of Israel wasn't a bad guy. At first, he inherited a strong kingdom, but his hunger for power led him down a dark path. This isn't just ancient history. It's a gripping story with shocking relevance to our world today. A seductive downfall, the allure of power and manipulation, Ahab's downfall began with a marriage of convenience. Jezebel, a fiery princess, brought political gain, but also a dangerous obsession, the worship of the god Baal. Ahab, easily swayed by her charisma, allowed Jezebel to dismantle his faith in Yahweh, the god of his people. This choice had devastating consequences. Think leaders. Are you surrounded by advisors who prioritize personal gain over the well-being of those you serve? Can you identify and resist manipulation? Think us. Do we let our desires cloud our judgment? Can we recognize and stand firm against external pressures that threaten our values? The power of ignoring warnings. A recipe for disaster. The prophet Elijah emerged, a beacon of truth in a time of darkness. He challenged Ahab's betrayal, culminating in the epic showdown on Mount Carmel. Elijah's simple offering, ignited by divine fire, exposed the impotence of Baal's prophets. Despite this clear message from God, Ahab remained under Jezebel's influence. Think leaders, do you listen to dissenting voices, even if they're uncomfortable? Do you value expert advice and act upon it? Think us. How often do we ignore warnings, clinging to choices that ultimately harm us? Can we learn to listen to that inner voice of caution? Greed and injustice. The seeds of destruction. Ahab's hunger for power didn't stop there. He coveted a vineyard owned by Naboth, a man of integrity. 
Jezebel, ever ruthless, orchestrated a plot that led to Naboth's death. Ahab seized the land, but God's judgment was swift. Think leaders. Are you tempted to prioritize personal gain over the rights and well-being of your people? Think us. Do we fall prey to greed and envy? Can we resist the urge to take shortcuts that harm others? Consequences and Redemption A Glimpse of Hope Ahab's reign ended tragically. Ignoring a prophet's warning, he joined a reckless war, ultimately dying on the battlefield. His blood stained the ground, a grim reminder of the drought that had plagued Israel for years, a consequence of his disobedience. However, there's a flicker of hope. Faced with Elijah's prophecy, Ahab showed remorse. Think leaders. Do you learn from your mistakes and course correct when necessary? Think us. Can we acknowledge our wrongdoings and seek redemption? King Ahab's story is more than just a historical footnote. It's a mirror reflecting the potential pitfalls of power, ambition, and the allure of shortcuts. By learning from his mistakes, we, as leaders and individuals, can navigate the complexities of life with a stronger moral compass and a deeper understanding of the choices we make. Let Ahab's fall be a cautionary tale, a reminder to choose integrity,